What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Cast Gamer and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, a lot happened. I highly suggest you watch uh, the last episode, namely because not only was it long, but we did a lot too. We fought uh, we fought one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. We f uh, we ended up getting cut, and we ended up f fighting the person who is now giving out the balance badge, which is now the fifth, which is apparently now the second gym badge, no longer like no longer the fifth. Whew. And um, yeah, so we know what we need to do. We just got cut, so I'm so we need to find Surf. Whether Surf is over here or not, we don't know. But I know there's usually an item down here. Um, I guess not. So, there is there is a human here that we can talk to, but there's also a zombie. So, we should probably fight the zombie first. And before we fight this head zombie, let's go over our team. First, we have Poic. Our ball toy level 19 rocking the gamble fish because we need that muns rock and side beam harden rapid spin and rock tomb next is mystery egg in which you guys can still put in your uh, nicknames using the uh, give me your nicknames that you want this mystery egg to be using the hashtag chaos wood with what you think the mystery egg should be named and I will formally announce it when we name him, when where, when we eventually get to Slateport. Uh, rocking Harden and Leech Life. Next is Seppuku, our Nuzleaf, also level 19, holding the leftovers with Bide, Harden, Cut, unfortunately, and Fake Out. So we got a pretty solid team. We got a massive, massive, massive weakness to Ice. So I need a fighting type or a fire type eventually. Once I find one, we will get it. Um, and we got the zombie here, so let's fight it. And yeah. So, oh, you're a ghost girl. Shrivel sore. Poic. Psybeam. <laughs> this is actually... Like, I just finished after recording the, uh, the previous four episodes, and this game is actually fun. I'm actually enjoying it. It's not very often that, uh, that I enjoy a series, but this one is really fun. I love the, I, I, I'm loving the, um, some of the humor in the game. Like you saw in the, like you saw in the last, what was it, two episodes ago, where, um, you had the, uh, oh, we got a Charmeleon. Or Charmu Worm? Charmu Worm? Um, but yeah, like, some of the, um, <laughs> some of the, some of the humor in this game is pretty funny. And also, can also be a little bit downright disturbing, which is fine to a point. But I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse. You kind of have to be very graphic with what you put in, anyway. So I kind of forgive. I kind of forgive the game for that. Let's go with a rapid spin, thinking this may kill, and it doesn't. Shoot. Either which way, I'm enjoying this game so far. Like I just like I've been recording now. What three hours? Yeah, for probably about three hours. <laughs> Recording. This is now the fifth episode that I've recorded straight, and normally I only record three videos per session. So, it, it, it comes to show of how how much I'm enjoying this game so far. I need a uh, Petcha Berry. Not that. And heal up Poic. Uh, I also need to heal him up too, because I don't know what that guy is going to do. Let's get a silver white potion and pop that on to him. Let's pop another one. So yeah, so if I'm enjoying the game, I can only assume you guys are enjoying it too. So be sure to leave that like. Be sure to click that like button. Pokeball, let's see what it is. Yep. 
you know what? We're gonna take the Magikarp. What level is this Magikarp? Four. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's holding HM with. What? He was holding Surf. <sighs> okay. He was holding Surf. Meaning, we can now get to Slateport. Not only can we get to Slateport, but we could also get to Duford and progress the story. Um, sadly, Magikarp can't learn it. We don't have a Mon that can. So. The dead guy stole the Magikarp from. We need to get this Magikarp up to level 20. Is there literally nothing else we can do? I mean, we could try and take this guy out again. I should be at a high enough level that I can withstand at least two Powder Snows. I could also technically go into Seppuku, use Fake Out. Let's try it. And I'm gonna save just in the off, just in the off chance that something happens. Because who knows? Maybe defeating it, defeating all the, defeating everybody might trigger something. I don't know. We'll see. Let's fight you. See what happens. All right, you got two Pokemon. Let's go, Jinx. Here we go. Jinx is Jinx is also part. Um, Fake out. That fake out did a lot. Um, let's use Bide, because we're probably going to spam Powder Snow. So Piku should be able to take a Powder Snow now. It can take two. Oh, this Bide is going to hurt so much. This Bide is going to hurt a lot. Actually, actually, now that I think about it, Spooku isn't going to survive. Unless I survive with one, I might survive with two. Not, no, that's fine. I did a lot of damage to the, to the Jinx with, um, with the fake out anyway, and I should be faster now. So let's go Rock Tomb. Poic should be able to take it. Ooh, I did almost exactly, just exactly half. Let's take this Rock Tomb to the face, killing it. Very nice, very nice. Now we can finally find out what this other Mon was. Another Jinx. I'm swapping to Mystery Egg, healing Poic up, and healing him up. I'm going to be down by four. There's Powder Snow, going to kill the Mystery Egg. That's fine. I don't plan on using Mystery Egg. Unless, unless Mystery Egg like evolves into something really, really badass. Let's go Rock Tomb again. And I missed. Of course I miss. This might this might be bad. This might be bad. I'm gonna use a super potion here. See what he's gonna do. Just spamming powder snow. This is not good. Um, let's use rock tomb. Come on. The oh, poet is gonna die. No, <gasps> we live. Okay. Let's use another super potion. Heal him back up to full. 
I know I can take Powder Snows now. Let's use Rock Tomb. Got it. There's powder snow, we can take it. Barely. Let's use another super potion. There's the powder snow again. Let's use a rock tomb, hope we hit it. Got it. Done. Now I can talk to that old woman. Now let's see what that old woman has to say because there's no other there's no other ones that we can kill. So maybe she has something for us. Go on, go on, go and save us all. Never mind. She has nothing. So what does the game expect me to do then? Raise up the magic harp until I ha until it's So, I'm guessing the game expects me to raise up that magic harp to a Gyarados. Cuz there's nowhere else for me to go. I need to go to the Pokemon Center for a second. I need to heal up anyway. If the only thing I gotta do is raise up that Magikarp, and it'll take a while, because I believe the level 20. Because I can go back to Old Dale. I can cross. I can cross till I, till I can get to Slateport. Famine's Desert? Okay, that's a new that's a new place. Shake ya Monastery, Falabor, Blighted Way. Route 14, Route 115. <sighs> All these places, Evergrand Evergrand Fort Fort Draco. Holy Cove. Okay, so I real I genuinely can't go anywhere else because Fallabor or Vernon Turf is just a ruin now. There's no way there's nowhere for me to go right. The only places I can go is right out of Route 103 to get to Slateport and Malville. Or go south to Route 105 to Duford, and I feel another sneeze. Hold on. Excuse me. I'm thinking this is the only way for me to go, so... And there was no other water Pokemon. Excuse me. And there's really nowhere else for me to get a Water-type Pokemon, so... I have to raise off that magic card. I have no other choice. All right, I'm gonna leave things off here then. I don't have much of a choice. A little bit of a shorter episode, but I guess it makes up for the long, long, long episode last time. So I'm gonna leave things off here. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click up that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.